please. We'll start in three, two, one, go! We'll get things rolling here for playoffs match number seven underway here at our Northwest District Championship. Autonomous programs underway on both of these alliances, and really they are fairly evenly matched, although at the last second, the Red Alliance will pull off. It looks like a complete clean sweep there of every possible game piece. That is the first time we have seen that, I believe, all weekend, and one of very few in the world so far. Off to a rip-roaring start there on the Red Alliance, although the Blue Alliance now pulls ahead ever so slightly with 89 points on the board to the Red Alliance's 73. As drivers now take the controls, yet another extra spicy, well-fought match in play for us here already. There's Bare Metal rotating their way around CV Robotics. No traffic problems really at all for them as they head off towards the Alliance grid. Jack and the Bot now up and over the charge platform, placing another cone. Skunkworks places a cone on top of one that's already scored, so that's not going to count for any additional score. 109 to 102, your live score. We're already in the triple digits on both alliances with a minute and 15 seconds left to play. Do recall that Jack and the Bot and Bare Metal have both been involved in some seriously high scoring matches all throughout the weekend. But Jack and the Bot with power problems in midfield, they are out. That light is out as we saw happen to them in Qualls earlier today. We'll see if anything's able to return on that robot, but it is until then going to be a three on two power play favoring the Blue Alliance. Seven links scored so far on that Blue Alliance wall to the Red Alliance's four as Robo Totes and CV and the Generals start just piling it up. The entire top row is full. The entire, no, one more cube awaiting there on the middle row for that Blue Alliance. And it looks like Corvallis is going to bring that in. That's worth three points of Alliance score, plus five for the link. Off they go, and they're otherwise largely ignoring that bottom row. The Generals actually just throw the cone that they had out onto the bottom row and just chuck it away so they can focus on this end game climb. There's a triple climb on blue, a double climb on red, and that is it for quite an interesting match number seven. 184 points to the Red Alliance's 177. That means our blue alliance number five advances on in the upper bracket off to round four and our